Have you ever wondered how to make your cologne last longer and smell better throughout the day? Well, you're in luck, buddy, because in this video, we'll cover five essential fragrance hacks that every man, woman, and whatever else needs to know to up their fragrance game, okay? So stay tuned to learn how to apply cologne like a pro and how to avoid common mistakes. Let me get a cologne or, or fragrance. There you go, Bleu de Chanel. What a great scent to have as a companion for this fragrance video. Oh, it just shaved, so it still kind of burns. Damn. Anyway, on with the video. Hack number one. Everything is about timing, like a lot of things in life, okay? Timing is everything. What do I mean by that? Don't apply cologne immediately after showering. Wait until your skin has cooled off and your pores actually have closed. Okay, why? Because hot, steamy showers often uh, open up your pores and if you spray cologne right after, the fragrance will be absorbed into your skin way too quickly. And most importantly, actually, because of the heat of your skin that you're still warm from the shower, it will dissolve much faster. Okay, skin and heat uh, heat and fragrance are basically react with each other. So keep that in mind, okay? Pro tip here, the best time to apply is after you've toweled off and your skin has cooled down about 10 to 15 minutes post shower, okay? This allows your scent to sit on top of your skin and project throughout the day, obviously depending on the strength of your skin, uh, the scent. However, this is timing is not everything, okay? If you want to knock it up a step, okay, then you have to think about hack number two, moisturize. Well hydrated skin holds fragrance better than dry skin, okay? Dry skin doesn't give the fragrance oils um, anything to adhere to, okay? So the scent evaporates faster. Moisturized skin provides a better surface for the cologne to latch onto. And um, if you want to, you can... After you shower, you can apply an unscented lotion or moisturizer to your pulse points specifically, you know, like wrists, neck, uh, behind the ears, whatever. Then spray your cologne on top of uh, those points and have the lotion absorb it. This a little bit of extra hydration will help you lock in the scent, okay? And for an extra fragrance boost, there are two things. Number one, layer matching scented lotions under your fragrance, okay? So many brands offer complementary lotions and shower gels to pair it with their colognes or fragrances in general. Second extra tip for, I guess, that fits into this category is, maybe you've seen it already, you can actually buy Vaseline, take a little bit of it, and depending on where you spray it, whether behind the ears, just have a tiny touch uh, over there, maybe over here, don't put too much so it doesn't like you don't look like you're shiny or something that from Vaseline, maybe on the wrists and then spray it on top of there because Vaseline will it will keep the cologne or the fragrance in it even longer than just moisturizer. OK, so second hack is basically that moisturize, right? Number three, we already touched on this are the pulse points. Focus your cologne application on pulse points like the neck or the wrists. I really like the wrists. Uh, pulse points are basically areas where your blood vessels are close to the skin's surface, so they emit more heat. Like I said in the beginning, it's kind of like a balance, okay? You want to spray it on your pulse points at the right time, not excessive heat from the shower, but the blood is warmer than uh, I, I, the blood makes the skin on the pulse points a little warmer than in area, other areas of your skin, which helps the fragrance to develop a little bit better, okay? It helps, the, the extra warmth basically helps to diffuse the fragrance throughout the day. So, like I said, okay, with this one, you spray it either here, here, behind the ears a little bit, and I like it on the on the wrist why do i like it on the wrist this has nothing to do necessarily with the pulse points even though this one um because when i reach out and i shake somebody's hands it's more easy for them to perceive my fragrance and uh you know that's how i make an impression on them and they can kind of remind me with another additional scent sense <laughs> the sense of smell um yeah so that's that pulse points 
Uh, oh, and do not, don't rub your wrists together, okay? Don't do that. I think we've talked about this. Other channels have talked about it. No good, okay? You're just crushing the molecules. No, no need. Um, oh, yeah. And then a couple of extra bonus tips. I also like the insides of the elbows, depending on when you wear uh, like short sleeve shirts in the summer. And uh, maybe also, believe it or not, uh, behind the knees, like on the inside of the knees. I'm not going to show you now, but uh, yeah, basically behind the knees. That one or two sprays over there is good too, because then you leave a scent trail and uh, don't overdo it. Another uh, bonus bonus here is if you actually want to have your fragrance last a little longer than that, you can slightly mist your clothing and your hair because that matter essentially keeps the fragrance around for even longer. Okay, but be careful when you apply colored fragrance, meaning like like ambery, yellow, orangey fragrance and you wear white clothes like uh, some people do in that business. <laughs> You got to be careful not to have it stain you, uh, especially true with Eau de Parfum or Extrait de Parfum. So be careful on that. And speaking of spraying, hack number four, don't worry about people calling you a sissy sprayer or something like that, okay? Less is often more. A common mistake is applying too much cologne. You, you want to create an inviting scent bottle, scent bubble, not an overwhelming cloud of fragrance. Um, I feel like cologne should be discovered, not announced. People should only smell your scent when they are close to you. And if they're close enough to you, then, you know, like I said, you have certain te uh, techniques, like on your arm, your wrists, your inner elbows. Um, then you can bring it a little closer to them. But don't do it so that, you know, this, the fragrance is basically in the room before you've even entered, okay? So if you're, oh, by the way, pro tip here, if you're worried you sprayed a little bit too much, you can actually use what we learned before to your advantage. Believe it or not, use a blow dryer on, on slightly like warm setting, not too hot, obviously, and just diffuse the scent because when you heat up the, the area, you're basically get rid of the fragrance okay so use a blow dryer if you've done too much okay don't rub just dab if you need to remove some access uh what else do i have to say on this one i think if your cologne wears off faster than you like it's better to carry a small decant with you for touch-ups rather than over spraying it in the beginning okay because that's uh that's just gonna be too much <laughs> All right, guys. Hack number five. Mm, I guess this is kind of hard to quantify, but it's something to think about when you choose a fragrance because the hack number five is that you need to choose the right concentration in your fragrance. Generally, you can opt for Parfum or Eau de Parfum over Cologne or Eau de Toilette if you want to have a longer lasting scent. Fragrance concentrations refer to the strength of a stent um, or how much perfume oil is in the formula in the bottle okay i don't know if it actually shows on this one let's see it doesn't say i mean it says other toilet but it doesn't say the percentage of some bottles say how many percent how much alcohol is in there and so you can reverse calculate because the general rule rule of thumb and this is not written in any stone or anything like that. And every company kind of sees it different and call it whatever they want. But perfums and other perfums have a higher percentage than uh, of oil, which is 30, uh, 15 to 30% of the essence of the juice is in the bottle. The rest is alcohol. And then EDTs uh, range from 5 to 15. And other colognes, EDCs, usually from... Uh, two to four, but again, then there's extract and extract the perform and all that type of stuff. So uh, just kind of take it with a grain of salt because you really have to do your research on which fragrance lasts how long. And this one, is, even though it's an EDT, it's a pretty solid scent. You know, it doesn't seem to be very weak for that. So um, a pro tip here, I guess 
in my experience, if you want to go with the with the nomenclature, the EDPs provide the best balance of longevity and projection for everyday wear at an affordable price, in my opinion. Performs last longer, but are pricier and can also be way too strong for certain situations, like for the office, for example. Um, pro tip or bonus tip, because we already had the pro tip on the fifth hack for the summer. I would say that citrus based or the colognes are refreshing. Uh, it's a good option when you don't want to have a heavy scent. And in winter, look for rich, warm EDPs with notes like vanilla, spices, and maybe wood. Okay. Again, for, I mentioned that before in different videos. I don't care. I wear whatever I want whenever I want. Even if it's the beating humid heat. I still wear black tie or something like that or, uh, you know, Oud for Greatness or something that is way too sweet for the summer, but I don't care. So to each them their own. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's recap this real quick. If you want to rewatch the video, you can rewind it. But essentially, the five hacks are considered timing, uh, preparing your skin, which is kind of like the moisturizing section that I mentioned, uh, where you spray it, the pulse points and maybe some extra... Uh, hex on the clothes or hair and then also consider how much you're spraying and it's better to spray little by little over time than a lot in the beginning um, oh and then the concentration obviously keep that in mind okay so that's that applying your fragrances strategically with whatever I talked about in this video will make you smell great all day so I would love for you to try out these hacks with your favorite scent and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite scent is right now. What are you rocking? What is your scent of the day? Which one of those um, tips or hacks did you know already? What are some others that you could share with us? Share them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.